In my several previous videos, I have told about different techniques with which you can solve your stammering or other communication problems. But the problem is that the people feel motivated for some time. But after some time, that motivation goes down and that efforts also falls down. And that's the reason that they are not able to continue their practice and the problem of stammering remains there. Now, for solving that problem, there are some steps which you need to keep in mind. The first is that mind doesn't believe that this problem can be solved. Many times, in fact, most of the time, the people believe that this is not just a habit, it is a disease. And disease has to be solved with the operation or some medicine. And here, I am not offering any medicine. I am just saying that you just keep practicing and the problem will be solved by itself. Now, that is a belief which you need to have. The people who don't believe this, they will not be practicing and they will not be putting the full efforts. Their efforts will be only half-hearted. And that's the problem which they will be facing. They will not be able to put the required efforts. They will not be having that regularity, that consistency in their efforts. And that's the reason they will, they will fall down. They will not be able to continue their practice and they will not be able to solve their problem. That is the first thing. So the people who wanted to know about this, that is it a disease or is it a habit? I keep telling that it is only a habit. If you do not have any neurological problem or any physical problem, which very few people have, then it is only a developmental stammering, which is only due to anxiety and fear. That is the psychological fear which you have in your mind. So if you can work on it, if you can solve that problem, then this problem will slowly go away. It will just simply fade away. The only problem is that believing that. So here I am telling you that it is just a habit. You can believe me or you can test yourself. You can check yourself. There's a lot of material on this internet or you can just find a lot of books about it. But the only thing is that you may go there, but again, you can start feeling that these people are simply motivating you or they are not telling the truth. So you will have to believe that it is only a habit. And I have seen, I have met a lot of people who have got success by practicing. I have told you many techniques what these people have used. I will keep telling more. I am even working on a course in which I will be telling all the techniques what I know, which all these people used to solve their problem of stammering and they came out of their communication problems or their speaking problems. You can do that too. But the only thing is that you need to believe that it can be solved. The second problem is commitment. Now, the people take commitment, but they don't follow it because this exercise is going to require a lot of efforts. You will be putting a lot of efforts every day, maybe for years. And after that, you will start seeing some results. So the people think they have started to live with the same life. They have believed that or they have accepted it, that it's their problem and they will have to live with it. And that's why they are not putting the required efforts to it. So they have accepted it and they are not ready to put in that required efforts. Even if they say that they are putting in the required efforts, they are not actually putting those efforts which are really required and that consistency. So they will be practicing for around a month or two months, but after that, it will just go away. And they will believe that it's not workable. So it is a workable solution. With constant practice, consistent practice, you will have to remove that thought which is sitting deep in your subconscious mind that you stammers, that you cannot speak a specific word or a specific letter. So that is only the practice which is required. So it is going to require a lot of work. So that action which is required, which really needs a lot of motivation, you can get that motivation by getting small success, by getting small wins, which you can only get through practice. Again, this is a cycle that you work hard, you get success, you get motivation, and then you work more hard. So for that, you will have to start somewhere. And to start that, you will have to just take action. You have to make a, that commitment that you will be practicing very hard and you will have to keep that schedule. As you are going to school, you are going to your college, you are going to your office. That is a schedule which you follow strictly, even if you feel like doing that or not. You have to follow it because 
that is something which you need to do otherwise you will be punished or there will be some problem so that is the type of work which you need to put there in this exercises you have made a schedule you have made the commitment and every day you will follow it even if you don't feel like doing it even if you don't think that it is really working you will have to keep practicing and after some time it may take few months it may take more months but after some time even if you are able to solve your problem 10% or even slightly around this 10% 15% you will see that enhancement of your speech the confidence which you will be having while speaking while communicating with other people and that is something which is going to give you that strength this is a spiral which is keep taking you upwards which is keep solving your problem and one last thing which you need to keep in your mind just like a bodybuilder or a gymnast they have to practice every day to keep their body fit ready to take action or ready to perform in any sports what they are focusing on just the way they are doing you have to do it even if you solve your problem by 90% or you feel that you are completely okay you will have to keep practicing just like these people if you do not continue practicing your communication or practicing hard to improve your enhance your communication then stammering has a habit of relapsing back it can come back with full force and you will go back to the square one so you need to keep practicing even if it is for 15 minutes or 20 minutes every day but your mind and your subconscious mind needs to know that you are practicing hard and you are ready to fight again if if that stammering comes back and you are ready you are always ready so the stammering is not going to come back so the stammering is just like a devil which is just waiting for you so that is something which you keep in your mind that you have to keep practicing you don't have to stop and the important thing is that you have to make a schedule commit to it and keep that schedule whatever happens even if you don't feel like following it you have to keep following it till you start seeing some results